Described by some as half a dog high and a dog and a half long, it's easy to see why so many people fall for the dachshund. I guess they kind of resemble a hot dog because they're long. Actually, it's the deli product that resembles the pooch. Hot dogs were originally known as dachshund sausages. Through time, that was shortened to hot dog. As far as anyone knows, the dachshund appeared in Europe at least as early as the 15th century, when German foresters likely crossed the pincher with the French basset hound, and later with a spaniel and a wire-haired schnauzer. Dachs means badger, hund means dog, so these were badger dogs. And this is what a badger dog does. Designed to track and catch quarry above and below ground, the dachshund may be the most extreme case of form following function. The dachshund's most important feature is its acutely sensitive nose. Short, stout legs keep the dachshund low to the ground, close to the scent of its quarry, and combined with his long, narrow body, help him fit into tight tunnels and burrow. Strong, webbed, spade-like paws allow the dachshund to move a lot of dirt fast, as much as a foot and a half deep in under a minute. And the final characteristic that makes the dachshund a standout in its field is courage. He's bred to take on the most vicious of varmints, underground, in the dark, and never to back down. But there are concerns. Because of the long body and short leg conformation, they can have issues with their spine. They can have slipped discs, just like people do. When it comes to training, enthusiasm drops off slightly. They are stubborn, and they kind of want to do it their way, but with patience and persistence, you can train them. Bang. Thank you. Say bye-bye. Good girl.